way out of my mind I'm saying stop playing, girl, you out of line Gonna erase these feelings What's up, YouTube? This is your girl, Blue Queen Sparkles I hope everybody morning going well I hope everybody morning going well I got a video, eh a video, eh, eh, a video, eh, a video, eh. I got a video. This morning video is story time. Story time. And the name of the book is Down Comes the Rain. And it's by Franklin and Brantley and illustrated by James Graham Hill. Rain comes from clouds. It comes from big clouds and little clouds. It comes from black clouds, white clouds, and gray clouds. All clouds, big ones and little ones, gray ones and white ones, are made of billions of tiny drops of water. The drops are called droplets because they are so small. If this is the size of a drop of water, a droplet will be just a tiny speck, even smaller than this one. Water droplets come from water vapor. Water vapor is a gas. There's always water vapor in the air, but you can't see it, can't smell it, and you can't Feel it. Water vapor is made when water evaporates. That means the water changes from a liquid to a gas. In the morning, put a teaspoon of water in a saucer. By that night, it may have evaporated into the air when wet clothes when wet clothes hang on the clothesline the water in them evaporates the heat from the sun changes the water drops and droplets into water vapor just like the heat from the stove changes water in the kettle to water vapor if you heat it long enough all the water boils away the water vapor goes into the air Most of the water vapor in the air comes from lakes, rivers, and oceans. It comes from the leaves of plants and from the wet ground. Heat from the sun causes the water to evaporate. The water changes from a liquid to a gas, and the water vapor goes into the air. When you breathe out, you put water vapor into the air. Usually you cannot see the water vapor, but it is there. Sometimes if it's cold, you can see your breath. That's because the water vapor consensus. It changes from a gas to a little cloud. When cows, horses, dogs, and cats breathe out, they put water vapor into the air too. On a cold day, the water vapor changes to droplets and makes little clouds that you can see. You can make water vapor change to water. Put a lot of ice into a glass of water. As the glass gets colder, the outside of the glass gets wet. Water vapor in the air is consistent on the glass. There may be so much condensation that the glass strips. Sometimes the glass stays dry. That means there is not much water vapor in the air.
The air holds the water vapor. Breezes carry it from one place to another. Much of the vapor moves up and away from the earth. Air above the earth is always cold. The higher you go, the colder it gets. When air gets cold enough, the water vapor in it condenses. The vapor changes to water droplets. The water droplets make clouds. When clouds are thin and wispy, they are holding only a little water. When a cloud are thick and dark, they are holding much more water. A single droplet is so small you cannot see, but you can't see a cloud. That's because there are millions and millions and millions of water droplets in a cloud. Inside a cloud, droplets join together to make drops. When clouds can no longer hold them, the drops fall to the earth. The sky is full of them. They fall through the air and splatter on the ground. They are raindrops. Sometimes there are only a few small raindrops that fall slowly. It is drizzling. Sometimes there's a lot of big drops that fall very fast. Now it is pouring. Sometimes the drops in clouds freeze. These raindrops become ice drops. This can happen even on a hot summer day. Some clouds may be higher than most airplanes ever go. The higher the clouds, the colder they are. That's because the clouds and water droplets are high above the earth. Many clouds are so high that it is freezing cold. Inside the cloud, these tiny bits of ice start to fall. In these high cold clouds, water vapor changes to droplets and the droplets change to drops. The drops freeze into ice. Freezing cold, water vapor droplets, water drop, ice drops, earth, air currents but they don't always fall out of the cloud instead they may be carried upward by air that is moving away from the earth as they are carried upward more water is collected on the tiny bits of ice when that water freezes the drops of ice have another layer on them the ice drops are now heavier so once more they fall towards the earth, but air moving away from the earth may carry the eye drops upward again. Higher and higher they go, and another layer of ice freezes onto them. The ice drop gets heavier and heavier. They get so heavy that the air can no longer carry them upward. So the ice drops fall to the earth. It is raining ice. Yikes. Drops are called hailstones. They may be the size of your fingernail, or they may be as big as golf balls, or even bigger. In 1970, hailstones as big as softballs fell on Kansas. Fields of corn were flattened by the hailstones. Hailstones are not stones; they're pieces of ice. So when it hails, go inside, so you're not hit on the head. When it stops hailing, go outside and pick up a hailstone. Break it in two and you will see the layers of ice. Water in the clouds makes hail. Water in the clouds makes rain. When it stops raining or hailing, the sun comes out. Once more water evaporates. It evaporates from lakes, rivers, and oceans. It evaporates from the leaves of plants and from the wet ground. It evaporates from cows and horses, from cats and dogs, and from you and me. The water changes the water vapor. It carries up and away from the earth where the air is cool or even freezing. When the water vapor cools, it condenses. The water vapor changes to water droplets, and altogether the droplets make clouds. Water droplets join together to make water drops. The water falls to the earth from the clouds.
once more it is raining then and I'm also gonna write I mean write I'm also going to read a little about the Arthurs okay Franklin and Branley has written over 140 books for children along with Roma Gans he co-founded the let's read and find out science series and he has written many of the series most popular titles including what makes a magnet and the planets in our solar system mr brandy lives in sag harbor new york now the illustrator james graham hell lovely illustration have appeared in numerous children books including another let's read and find out science book how mountains are made from kathleen winner zofil he also illustrated through Moon and Stars and Night Skies by Ann Turner, which was featured as a reading rainbow selection. Mr. Hell lived in Granville, Ohio. And I have a question, so look out for the question of the day. And I'm going to let y'all go. Before I let y'all go, don't forget to like, comment, share, and da, 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 subscribe. Make sure you hit the notification bell for more. And tell your mama, tell your daddy, tell your brother, tell your sister, tell your aunt, tell your uncle, tell your cousin, tell your grandpa, tell your whole family to come to the Blue Sparkles family. If you're going outside, please be careful, please be safe. Pray when you leave the house. Pray when you get to your destination. Pray when you leave your destination. God loves you, so do I. Remember both of my logos, Jesus is my boss and Jesus is my God. Don't let negative get in your mind or in your way of what you're trying to do in life. And yeah, continue showing me love and support. Keep on subscribing to my channel. Um, the more the merrier. Uh, start checking out the community posts. I will be posting more stuff up. And, uh... I will let y'all know when I'll be able to start um, putting ads on my videos. I'm in the process of getting them reviewed. And yeah, if you want to hear your name out in a shout out at the end of my video, y'all know what to do for something in the description box below. Elona is what? 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 Appropriate. Elona is appropriate. And yeah, and I'm out.